Inside the cells of the body, countless protein molecules swim around, surrounded by water and other molecules. Reproducing these microscopic movements in a virtualized environment helps us understand how these proteins function. But a single protein is made up of tens of thousands of atoms. Molecular dynamics simulations that can reproduce these complex interactions require a powerful supercomputer. Yuji Sugita is the leader of a Riken research team. They tried using Fugaku to run molecular dynamics simulations to investigate how the COVID-19 virus invades cells. Viruses cause disease by invading our cells and turning them into virus-reproducing factories. A virus has so-called spike protein projections on its surface that bind to receptors on the surface of the cell, gaining access inside. To get a closer look at this interaction, the team used Fugaku to run Genesis Software, an application with a 10-year development history. In a short time, it allowed them to reproduce the activity at the tip of the spike protein in great detail. Next, they plan to investigate how changes there at the end of the spike protein allow the virus to bind to the receptors and gain access to the cell interior. They believe simulating the complex movements of proteins will help us better understand diseases and develop new drugs to fight them. In May 2024, amid rapid adoption of generative AI after the release of ChatGPT, a research team led by Tokyo Institute of Technology professor Ryo Yokota released a large language model called Fugaku LLM. This new generative AI model was trained using the Riken supercomputer Fugaku. With the majority of its training data having been in native Japanese, Fugaku LLM is noteworthy for its exceptional proficiency in the Japanese language. When asked in Japanese to briefly explain the beauty of the Japanese language, Fugaku LLM gives this response. Japanese is a very expressive language. It can express complex concepts with combinations of kanji, hiragana, and katakana. It has a wide variety of words, including honorifics, humble language, and polite language. It also has unique concepts and expressions, such as motai nai, what a waste, and okage-sama, thanks to the support I received. AI learns by using a neural network structure that mimics the connections of neurons in the human brain. But Fugaku lacks the GPU chips commonly used for machine learning. So instead, the team had to develop optimizations for Fugaku's CPU chips to make the training process more efficient. One optimization made more efficient use of Fugaku's more than 150,000 CPUs. By skillfully dividing and distributing the training data and computations among its many CPUs, Fugaku was able to compute the results six times faster than with conventional methods. Another optimization sped up the Tofu Interconnect D networking technology allowing the CPUs to communicate with each other three times faster than before. 
Developing their large language model with full transparency and safety, the team created a model with 13 billion parameters that's easy to use and excellent at Japanese. Uh, through the development of Fugaku LLM, we were able to use Japanese manufactured processors and also create a Japanese uh, large language model. Uh, this is uh, very significant. Also, we were able to um, have young researchers uh, through this development um, become professionals in this area and they are now leading the development of LLMs in Japan. In meteorology, training refers to a series of storm clouds that advance along the same path like a train. One after another, storm clouds pass or even stagnate over the same place for several hours, resulting in heavy rains and major flooding hazards. How these cloud trains form, however, isn't fully understood, so accurately predicting them requires additional research. A team led by Takemasa Miyoshi at Riken is working on making storm cloud training forecasts more reliable. They create a virtual model of weather conditions and then assimilate large amounts of real-world weather data into that model. Here's what they've learned. This map shows precipitation up to one hour after a train formation that brought heavy rainfall to southern Kumamoto Prefecture in July 2020. On first attempt, using the weather model alone, a train in southern Kumamoto isn't predicted, so this forecast isn't the best. But when they bring in vast amounts of data based on state-of-the-art weather radar stations across the island of Kyushu, a train in southern Kumamoto appears. This forecast is a great improvement. This shows that assimilating so-called big data can be very effective. The team plans to continue using Fugaku to carry out and validate computations for different weather conditions to improve forecasting and reduce the impact of natural disasters like flooding. とにかく被害者が出るということが、あの、戦場降水帯の、あの、大きな問題でありますので、え、被害者ゼロになるように、正確な予報、それに基づく強い情報というのを出せるように研究を進めていきたいと思っています。One project overseen by research team leader Takahito Nakajima at Riken is developing and commercializing a new class of compounds that can make solar cells dramatically more efficient. The new compounds feature a crystal structure known as a perovskite, which is quite different from conventional silicon materials. And with safety in mind, they're avoiding the use of lead. They're compiling a massive database with 10 million different possible materials and using Fugaku to perform an exhaustive search for the safest and most effective ones for solar cells. Another project, a collaboration between Nakajima and four other researchers, is looking for new photocatalysts that could be used to produce hydrogen. Hydrogen holds promise as a possible resource for next-generation clean energy, but it's expensive to make. So there's a need for photocatalysts that can produce large amounts of hydrogen at lower costs. The researchers are using the supercomputer Fugaku in an exhaustive search for photocatalysts with the potential for a major breakthrough. They might be able to increase the conversion efficiency from a few percent to over 10% which would be a major step in making hydrogen more practical as a fuel. This approach is also being used to search for photocatalysts that might inactivate viruses. We 
材料開発の技術であったりあるいは材料のデータベースを有効に活用しながらデータ駆動型のサイエンスを用いた材料開発を行うことで日本のものづくり大国復興に一役買いたいなというふうに思っています。The steps in the drug discovery process include identifying disease related proteins and such, finding drug compound candidates that counteract those proteins, evaluating the efficacy and toxicity of the drug candidates, and conducting clinical trials to confirm that the drug candidates actually work safely in patients. Currently, AI and computer simulations are used separately in the steps of this process, limiting the overall efficiency of drug development. To address this issue, a RIGEN team led by Kyoto University professor Yasushi Okuno aims to build a new platform to digitally transform drug discovery. The new platform will make drug development hyper efficient by integrating each step of the process through a combination of AI and computer simulations. It's a powerful approach made possible by the supercomputer Fugaku. Just recently getting underway, their work follows the steps of the drug development process. So, to begin, they're identifying disease related proteins. This is based on the changes to gene networks that occur inside cells when a COVID 19 patient becomes severely ill. They're also looking for possible drug compounds effective against those disease related proteins. Only with the power of Fugaku can they simulate and study how these compounds move through the cell on such a scale. This time, they were able to narrow 2,000 potential drug candidates down to around 20. In 10 calendar days. Going forward, they plan to incorporate AI into this simulation to identify possible drug compounds even faster. あのまあ、今はですねその医薬品の開発にはまあ10年以上、まあ、1,000 億以上かかるというふうにまあ言われているんですけれどもそれをまあ DX プラットフォームで、えーまあ、計算することによって、えー、その期間の短縮と、まあ、費用の削減といったことが、まあ、可能になりますでそれによって患者さんを、まあ、多くの薬を求めている患者さんを救うことが、まあ、できるというふうに考えています。f u g a k u is producing breakthrough results one after another and the Riken Center for Computational Science is making f u g a k u easier to use for even more people to use. For example, you can now run some of the same applications and software as Fugaku on cloud services. And the portal site lets you manage your Fugaku usage from a web browser. Using Fugaku is easier and friendlier than ever. We're also championing green IT. Fugaku is designed to be energy efficient as well as high performing. And we're always working to further improve that efficiency. Information technology evolves quickly. Amid global competition, the Center for Computational Science is already taking preliminary steps toward a Fugaku successor, a next generation supercomputer currently known as Fugaku Next. We're also looking at ways to develop and integrate emerging computer technologies. Such as quantum computing and artificial intelligence. As Fugaku evolves and its next generation successor moves forward, the Center for Computational Science will continue to inspire science and technology breakthroughs and strengthen international competitiveness. <laughs>